Hi friends. How are y'all doing? I hope each and every one of you are in best of your health. Welcome to our channel Plants, Crush, Cooking and more. Today I have an interesting project to share with you. Here I have two different yarns and the crochet hook that I'll be using is number 12. So without further delay let us jump right into the video and start by making 15 number of chains. While making the chains, do keep counting so that you get the exact number of chains. Once 15 stitches are done, we'll leave a chain gap and start with one single crochet. Then one half double crochet followed by two double crochet that's the first double crochet and the second double crochet once that is done we are going to do five number of triple crochet that's the first triple crochet Then the second one followed by the third. Now the fourth one. And the fifth one. Now we do two number of double crochet. That's the first one and this is the second one. Then we do one half double crochet. Then one single crochet. Then one slip stitch. This part is a bit tricky, you need to be careful. And then again, one number of single crochet. Then one half double crochet. Followed by two number of double crochet. Now we'll begin with our triple crochets. Again, five number of triple crochets have to be made. Now, see, we are working on the triple crochets. Doing triple crochet we have to yarn over twice. That's a two double crochet. Then one half double crochet is complete. Then a single crochet. After which we'll chain one and then slip stitch. Now 
Now the yarn has been snipped off. So our first petal or leaf, whatever you want to call it, you can call that is done. I'll be showing you the same leaf or the petal in a different color so that if you had some problem in understanding the first uh, work, you can follow this one. Here the same thing, 15 number of chains are being made. Then again we'll give a skip to one chain and then make a single crochet followed by half double crochet then two number of double crochet and again five number of triple crochet Once triple crochets are complete, we are starting with two number of double crochet, then one half double, then one single crochet. Then we'll do one slip stitch now a single crochet and the same thing that we did will be repeated now here I would like to mention that if you are not aware or if you do not know the names of the stitches that is single crochet double crochet half double crochet or triple crochet then you can just follow the way I am working it then you will understand what I mean to say if you are not uh, used to with the crochet terms you can just follow my work then you'll understand and you can do the petal if one if you can just complete one petal you'll understand it is not hard at all Now using this small petals or the leaves, we have another portion of the work to be done, then only the petal will be complete. We will be using these uh, petals to make a cushion cover. You can see it when we continue with the work. So I would suggest you all to stay till the end of the video. The project that we will be doing or we are working on will be a very colorful project so you can get all the different kinds of yarn to be used 
in this particular project all the possible colors see our petals are ready and these petals you have to make many 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 petals to complete the project don't get worried i'll let you know how many petals you need to do let us start with the second step here we are attaching a off white color yarn i'm using you can use any color and here what we are doing is we make a slip stitch and make a chain one then we do two single crochet which will be followed by four double crochet Now once the four double crochet is complete, we'll make another double crochet in one chain space and then make a triple crochet in the same chain space. Now moving on to the next chain, we'll make one triple crochet. Then chain one and make the second triple crochet in the same chain space. After that, we make another triple crochet in the next chain space, which will be followed by one double crochet in the same chain space. Once that is done, we'll be making four double crochet in each of the chain spaces. Then we are going to make two single crochet in each of the chain space. After that, what we need to do is we'll chain one, then we'll make four double crochet again in each of the chain spaces. Once four double crochet is complete, we will make one double crochet and one triple crochet in the same chain space as we had done earlier. After that, we'll make one double, one triple crochet chain one and again one triple crochet in the same chain space which will be followed by again one triple crochet and one double crochet in the same chain space once that is done again we'll start with making of four double crochet in each of the chain spaces please keep an eye on the types of stitches that I'm making then we make one single crochet and then chain one and the slip stitch so our second part of the work is complete now the yarn is snipped off and now you can start making these petals you 
this is how we set the petals now let me tell you get scared by hearing the number of petals that you must make making a cushion cover of size 12 inches by 12 inches you need to make 64 such petals for one side and another set of 64 petals for the other side so get started I'm sewing the petals you need to see properly so that your petals are not stitched in a wrong way I'm using a tapestry needle to sew up the petals once the petals are made or the leaves I don't know I get confused what I should call it anyway once it is made uh, the process is very easy you just need to keep sewing one after the other see a motif is ready I think that word motif will be most appropriate now we need to sew up the other part as well and complete it I'm showing you uh, in detail the sewing part as well because if the sewing of the motifs or the petals are not done properly then the um, it will look distorted it will not look nice then again we need to open it all over Now I am stitching the last part of this particular motif. While well, stitching, don't stitch it too tightly, then it will get. Uh, what should I say? Mm. I'm not getting the exact word that I should use. Anyway, it will not look nice. Now see. I have completed uh, about four five of them now we'll be stitching it now for stitching this oh another thing I would like to tell while arranging the motifs uh, do see the colors properly and then set it so that the same colors do not fall on the same side now for stitching this individual uh, squares I would use I would like to use the crochet hook only instead of using the tapestry needle see how it is to be done I'll make a simple knot and then pull the hook through my work I have placed the work facing each uh, the right side facing each other and now see how it is done the hook is passed through the yarn is pulled and now again yarn over and end the stitch it is very easy not tough at all if you follow closely you'll be able to do everything
here also i'll tell the same thing do not keep the tension too tight So once the four small petals are joined, one square is formed. Now for each side of the cushion cover, measuring 12 inches by 12 inches, we need to make a 16 number of such square blocks. And friends, please do ignore my furry friends of the neighborhood barking outside. Now see, two uh, blocks have already been joined. I have kept the other blocks and I am seeing which color will look better when kept uh, as on the sides. Arranging the square patterns is also important. As we don't want the same colors to lie side by side, isn't it? Now again, I'll stitch the third uh, square block. Now using the same process we have to keep working so that the work gets assembled that means we are making we are stitching four blocks each now see one side of my work is also complete four four blocks we have see as I told you we have 16 blocks on one side and for 16 number of blocks on one side we need to make 64 number of small petals see so many colors I've used now I'll show you how that strip is stitched To the other ones now here again I'm using the crochet hook as I had shown you earlier and in the same process we'll keep working See, in the same manner, I'm working here too. This part, that is the stitching part, you can do with the tapestry needle as well. But I thought it's better to use the crochet hooks so that I can show you how this uh, part of the work is also done.
this pattern or the motif can be used uh, for making baby blankets cushion covers we are already working shawls many many things you just need to put on your thinking cap and ideas will all uh, start emerging are you liking the work well i am falling in love with the work itself look at the burst of colors that's the wrong side now i am stitching both the sides of the cushion cover here i'll be using the tapestry needle to stitch the three sides and we all know how tapestry needle is to be used See how it is being done. You have to stitch it in the same manner on all the three sides. And finally the weight is over and our cushion cover is ready. Well friends, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to share, subscribe and comment to hit the like button if you have found the video interesting. And if you are new to our channel, do take a moment to subscribe and stay tuned for more of interesting videos in future. So till then, stay safe, be happy and bye.